Hi there, this is Renee from floatinglightsphoto.com. I wanted to take a few minutes today and show you how cool the oil paint filter is. So I wanted to start using this photo here. This is just a stock image and it doesn't have any people in it, which is a little bit easier sometimes. And I wanted to show you how cool using the oil paint filter is. So the first thing I need to do, because this is a stock image and I don't need to do any editing to it at all, um, I'm not gonna add any actions or have any other layers here, I'm just gonna convert this to a smart object. So right now it is just one layer, it's a background layer. So to convert it to a smart object, I'm gonna hit control on my keyboard and I'm gonna click on the background layer and then I'm just gonna come down to convert to smart object. And what that allows me to do is um, it allows me to edit non-destructively. So that means that any filter or anything I do to this layer now, the layer is still going to stay the same. So if I, for instance, decided that I didn't like the way that the oil paint filter looked on the photo, I could just delete the filter itself and still have the layer be completely intact the way it is here. So I'm going to come up to filter and I'm going to select under stylize, I'm gonna select oil paint. Now these are just the defaulted selections from probably the last time that I used my oil paint brush. So I'm just gonna go through really quickly and show you what each of these does. So the first slider is stylization. It's all the way up at the top right now, but we can bring this down and you can see how this changes what your oil painting looks like. I usually tend to go a little bit heavy on this maybe bring it up a lot. Um, usually between eight and 10 is what I use for my oil paintings. Cleanliness. So this is, again, bringing this down is gonna make this look very, very different than if this was a lot higher. This is a little bit more smooth and a, just a little bit more clean looking. Under scale, you can slide this down and you can see the effect that that makes and bring it back up. And then bristle detail is kind of the details of the brush. So bringing this down is gonna make it look a little bit smoother. These are kind of smoother lines than they are if they're up a little bit higher. And then lighting, you can turn this off or turn this on. Lighting is kind of how much the brush strokes jump off the page at you. So you can adjust your lighting and your shine as well. It doesn't look very good with a with high shine. <laughs> so um, that's totally up to you. So for this photo, I might even just leave my lighting off. And I kind of like the way that that looks. So I'm going to hit OK. And you can see here, this is added a smart filter. So I can just turn this off and my, my photo is completely unchanged, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna turn that back on. You can see the effect that the oil paint filter has made. That's actually a really cool effect. So how can you apply this to a photo that you've taken out in the field of a subject, let's say? Well, here's a photo that I've taken. So I've actually done some editing to this. So here is uh, straight out of camera. This is what it looked like. It was kind of like the beginning of March. It wasn't nice out. It was all dead still and not pretty. So I did add a few actions. I'm not gonna go over those with you in this tutorial, but I do wanna show you how using the oil paint filter can really enhance a photo like this. So because I've actually done some editing to this photo, so this group one is all my edits, um, I actually need to create a new layer to apply the oil paint filter to. I wanna create a merged layer. So to do that on a Mac, you're gonna hit Command, Alt, Shift, and E. And that's gonna create a new merged layer. If you are on a PC, you're gonna hit Control, Alt, Shift, and E. And it's gonna create this new merged layer for you. And now we can go up and we can add our filter. So it's not, it's not terribly important right now that this be a smart object. You could change it to a smart object. Um, it's totally up to you, but let, maybe let's just do that just to stay consistent. So this is a smart object now, or it will be in a second. And now we're gonna go up to filter again, stylize and oil paint. And you can see, so these are the, the exact same settings that I had left on from the last photo. So I'm actually gonna turn the lighting back on and you can see the effects that this is making to the photo. So this is actually really cool, um, but it is distorting the people. 
Now, if you were going for a really artistic look or a really artistic photo, I mean, this might be an okay look for you, but I actually want the people to stay the way they are. I want the effect to be applied mainly to the background, the trees and, and such here. Once you've selected all of your settings the way that you want them, you're gonna hit okay. I'm gonna just bring the opacity of this down a little bit. So it is a little bit much. By bringing it down, it's still leaving the effect there. It's just not quite as noticeable noticeable. So here is before, here's after. You can see the trees still look really cool, but it's not quite so noticeable. And then on our smart filter layer mask, I'm going to use a black brush. So I'm going to come over to my toolbar here. I'm going to make sure that my foreground color is set to black. Um, my opacity is set to 100 right now. I might bump this down to 78 or so. And my hardness of my brush is set to zero. And then I'm just going to brush the effect off of the people. Now I could really zoom in and make this look a whole lot better. I'm not terribly worried about it right now, um, just for this tutorial, but I wanna make sure that it's not on any of her arms or anything like that. And that's actually a really cool effect. Now I might just fix up a little bit more down here kind of on the ground to make it look a little bit more natural. So I'm just going to paint some of this off, some of the background here, make them look a little bit more natural. But I do kind of like this whimsical, um, foresty look. So here is the before without the oil paint filter. And here is the after with the oil paint filter. And you can see just kind of how cool and whimsical this looks um, with the filter. So it's just kind of a little added bonus, a little oomph you can give to your photos if you choose to do so. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can come on over to Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography and catch me over there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.